Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a video using Adobe Express. Adobe Express is the new name for Adobe Spark. And thank you to Tony Vincent for sharing that information on Twitter a couple of days ago. I would have missed it otherwise. So thanks, Tony. Now let's go ahead to Adobe Express, adobe.com slash express. And I'm going to sign in. And the nice thing is I can still use the same account credentials that I used for Adobe Spark. I'm now just using them to log into Adobe Express. And now let's go over here to the left-hand side and let's create a video. And I'm gonna create one about skiing in Maine or skiing with my family. How about skiing with my family? And we can use one of the templates that are that's provided by Adobe Express, or we can start from scratch, which is what I'm going to do. And I should point out that the tools work the same way, regardless of whether you start from scratch or whether you use a template. So just like in Adobe Spark and Adobe Express, we'll create our video on a frame by frame basis. And so let's start by adding some text. Call it skiing with my family. Yeah, we can make that text larger if we want to or smaller just by clicking on that little option there. Now, if you want to change out the color scheme, you can do so by going over to the theme option. And the default that I have is the title theme with a blue background. But if I click on the green option, well, now I have a green background. And you can see all these other ones that I could also apply. Maybe I want to use the statement one. And you can see there, there's my statement one. I'm going to go back though to the title. And if we hit this little shuffle button, we'll see there that I've now swapped out my colors so that I have a white background and green font instead of the original. And if I shuffle it again, and again, I'm back to the original green background, white font. But I want to put in my own picture in the background. So I'm going to click the option for photograph. And I'm going to upload a picture I have on my computer that I took while skiing at Sunday River in Maine. And that's my new background for this opening of my video. Now, I'm going to record some audio to go with this particular frame. To do that, just click on the microphone icon and start recording. This video is about skiing with my family in Maine. And I can play that back. This video is about skiing with my family in Maine. And that's the beginning of my video. Now, if I don't like that, perhaps I don't like the background music that was automatically added. Well, I can go and turn it off. I can turn it down and adjust the volume. I can change the music itself. And so I'm gonna use that Pacific Pier music instead of the default music that was provided by Adobe Spark. You can see there, I could also upload my own music, but I should point out that you need to make sure that you have the rights to do that when you upload your own music. So now let's go and add another frame to our video. And we can change the layout for our next frame. We can go swap out full screen for, let's say a split screen. And with my split screen, I'm going to show you this new option for an icon. And I'm gonna look for a skiing icon. And let's add that one in. And you'll notice that icon automatically matched the theme of the background. 
Again, if I want to change that, I'll have to go over here to my theme. And when I do so, I can then change the colors. I'm going to change that back to the green option. And over here, I'm going to add in some more text and say, we love to go skiing. Then I'm going to record my audio. We love to go skiing whenever we can. Now let's add another frame to the video. And I'm gonna add in another photograph. And you can see here, I have this option for a built-in search for skiing pictures, or I can upload my own photograph. I'm gonna use that find free photos again though. And I'm going to type in ski lift and we'll see here we've got a whole bunch of pictures courtesy of pixabay of ski lifts so let's add this one right here and we'll add that picture in now i'm going to add on top of this some text and say We're learning to ride the lift. And on my next frame, I'm going to put in a photograph. And this time, I'm going to upload a photograph again. Now, that particular photograph, I didn't like the way that it came out. So I'm just going to shrink it down. And frame it up a little bit better. Now, if I click on that, I can also add some more text on top of the frame, but I'm gonna record this right now. This is me and my youngest daughter practicing skiing in our backyard. Now, one of the things I wanna point out about Adobe Spark that's really great is if I decide I need to put this frame ahead of this one, I can do so by just clicking and dragging. The audio will still the same, stay the same. And now I can go here and say, we're learning to ride the lift, which is why we're practicing skiing at home first. Now, I have my frames all in order. You can make as many frames as you want for the sake of keeping this demo relatively short. I'm gonna point out that we have a credits screen that's been automatically added and the credit for the icon of the skier been automatically added in. There was not a credit added for this background picture. However, if I want to look at it, I can just go to the bottom left corner and look at it and we'll see no rights reserved. We can view the original source page if we want to. And if I want to copy that, I'm going to just copy that text and I'm going to add that to my credits slide. And I can add that to my ending credits. Now, when I'm ready to preview the video, I'm just gonna click preview. This video is about skiing with my family. We love to go skiing whenever we can. This is me and my youngest dog. So if I like my video, when I'm done previewing it, I can download it. I can hit that share button or I can go back in and make some more edits to any one of these frames or add more frames in. And I should also point out 
that one of the great things about Adobe Spark and is still present in Adobe Express is that I can invite other people to work on this video project with me. So I'm gonna invite Mason and he is going to be able to edit the video and work on it with me from his computer, wherever he is. So that's how you can create your first video using Adobe Express. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.